Let's go to 18. Par five in the third for Lauren Coughlin, 31 year old out of Virginia, looking for a first win on the LPGA. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, close. Lindy Duncan back up the hill at the end. Right there. It's pretty good effort there. It's a long putt. Olivia Cohen, 28 year old from Germany, this just off the green at the eighth to get it to two under. Yeah, this is one of the easiest holes on the golf course, one you definitely want to take advantage of, the par five eighth. And Karen, I don't think that's really the case. I think that they've done a good job softening it just enough after going through such a dramatic renovation. Completely agree. Wow, what a shot. And that stayed right there. Yeah, not a lot of break in this putt. Perfect place to putt, Fom. Just oh. like that. Yeah, well. To two under. And this one's going to move to the right. A little bit downhill as well. A moment ago, the fifth at the par 5 18th for Jung Lee six. Her third was in the penalty area. Nah, no problem. Just a par on the card. So set up with her stance as if she was hitting a chip. <laughs> Different than her other putting stance. Look at this. Oh, it worked. coglin has been great. And this for Eagle at the fourth. Another one of those par fives you want to be able to take advantage of. Four and eight here on this front nine. Really are there for the taking. Oh, what pace. I mean, what a putt that was. Check in with Marina Alex. This is a tricky one here. Got to use that side slope. It's almost one of those putts. The higher you putt it, Tom, the more it's going to break. Looks like she judged it nicely. Oh, how good Whoa. is that? That is outrageous, and she knows it. Really good stuff there. Just so on the edge at the minute for her. This one breaking big, right? Oh, good putt. Great putt. Perfect putt. Still looking for a birdie here at the ninth. Did well to get the ball to finish there. The bunker protecting the front of the green, and that oh. leaves you a good look at birdie. So she's under par. <laughs> you know, I'm a bit nosy, and I like to see how everybody's playing, but. Tricky one here for the amateur, Megan Schofield at the 17th, but she's handled that very well. Oh, yes! U.S. Women's Amateur Champ from last year. Hole location on the front today, the short wedge. This is definitely a hole you want to take advantage of. She did. Okay, they're starting to go in now. The birdies at 17. She's got a pitching wedge out. What a difference this makes. Still coming in a little lower full flight because the green is raised above her. Yeah, I couldn't believe how far down she got that drive there. Just watching her play today, you get a sense it, it's a better round than one under, and now she gets it to two under. One of the six amateurs in the field, Jasmine Koo at one over. This at 18 now. We're trying to use the backstop. First player we've seen really able to spin something back off that slope. What a shot. Yeah. Enough to get there. Oh, just shy. A really good opening round, though, for Lauren Coughlin. Her best finish in a major championship was the type of 15th last year at the KPMG Women's PGA. At 18, Isabella Fierro, the 23-year-old from Mexico, at plus one, trying to finish up at even par. And does from long range. Look at the swing on this putt. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, look at her face. She knows how good that was and yeah. how. Sorry, Titico. She rolled one in from long range. Yes. See if she can capitalize on a really good shot in here. Well, she can. Watch out if that putter stays hot this week for Lydia Coe. The player of the moment, Nelly Corder.
and Paige McKenzie will be out watching this group for us this afternoon. Yeah, and strike two shots on the previous hole to give herself an eagle look. This one's about position off of the tee, trying to play left of these bunkers, or in her case, over. Yeah, she might be concerned about the penalty area on the left, that one. Without a doubt, you yeah. can almost get through that fairways, but that's going to set up a really nice little wedge shot into the green. Angela Stanford, this her third at the fourth. And off to a really solid start today. Was three under a little bit earlier in her round. She talked about coming into this week. She's not just taking up a spot. She's serious. She has really been grinding all winter. Yeah, key here, just avoiding the bunkers on the left portion of this fairway. She's got 280 to that last bunker on the left. Maybe one of the tightest fairways on this golf course, but Nelly just stands. She's so confident right now in her golf swing. There's nothing that can go wrong. It's so beautiful. What a drive from Nelly now, her second. Yeah, wedge into the screen. Haven't seen any of the balls stop where they land, so allow for two or three yards release. Well, that's about as much speed as I've seen today. Lizette Salas, one of the exemptions this week, along with Angela Stanford. Gosh, I feel like we've talked about so many players with back injuries, Lizette being one out for the better part of a season. Just a moment ago at the seventh major champ from last year, Ronin Yin. You played with Ronin earlier this week, Tom. I did. And uh, she hit shots like that to help the group? A, she hit a few shots like that to help the cause, yeah. Um, great, just such a great ball striker. I nicknamed her Rocket Ronnie. So I hope that sticks. Well, your presence had no effect. Still playing very well. Nelly Corda, a chance for birdie. There you go. Again, just making it look so easy. She's just not making any mistakes. I mean, think about that drive, the approach, now the putt. Ho-hum. Two birdies her last three holes. And on the move once again, the number one player in the world trying to win a major championship here. The opener. In terms of major championship season on the LPGA. Mentioned Gabby Ruffles, this her second at the sixth. It didn't look like she had a very good angle wow. there, but what a wow. result. Yeah, to two under. That's been a tough hole to birdie today, but both Nelly and Gabby looking, making it look very easy. She has 195, 600. And yet another one. Chance for Eagle. Mm, had it right there. No, I think you're right, and, and I think also you're correct in the main. What she's done so far this year probably hasn't gotten the notice it should have. I think Jason said 105. It's 112 actual, so that would give a seven-yard release number. Might be a little bit of help. Yeah, good job, Scott. She didn't give the full club 12 there, but uh, it was fine. Whenever she twirls the club, you know it's a good, good one that's coming up. Yeah, that one goes in with authority. <laughs> Great opening day for Nelly Corder. Two back with the lead. A round of 68, and look at that finish. Good looking shot, but ended up with a long putt, so has this for her birdie. Oh, yeah. It's just thin mm -hmm. enough to sneak in. Mm -hmm. She has a really good mentality when it comes to golf. Like, I'm very impressed with her mental game. Yeah, another good shot. Dominated the Epson Tour last year. Player of the year to make her way onto the LPGA. It's a little bit of helping win right now, off the left. Oh, right at it, good shot there. And I love the lines that she uses with the putter through into her forearms, identical. Yeah, 
nice way to finish. And Gabby Ruffles is in contention at a major championship. Korda just two back along with Marina Alex. Nami Katsu, also a 68. How about that name though, Lydia Ko? We talked about it earlier today. A chance to get into the LPGA Hall of Fame. She's got one, she's one point away. And this would get you two points, a win here at a major championship. Hey, she's in prime position as well. But you think we got the Nelly story, we've got the Lydia story. It is just... Angela Stanford story with 98 straight. Yeah, so much going on this week. And it's been really exciting so far here in Houston.